Thursday night, Mitt Romney gave the biggest speech of his campaign, a chance to tell America what he's done and what he might do as president. So what did he say? Now is the moment when we can do something, and with your help, we will do something. Now is the moment when we can stand up and say, I'm an American. I learned the real lessons about how America works from experience. But not a word about his record in Massachusetts, where job growth was 47th out of 50, where he piled up more debt per person than any other state in the nation, where he cut taxes for millionaires like him, but raised taxes and fees on everyone else, $750 million per year. And Romney's plans for the future? How many days have you woken up feeling that something really special was happening in America? When the world needs someone to do the really big stuff, you need an American. I'm running for president to help create a better future. Not a word about his plan to give trillions in new tax cuts to big corporations and the wealthy. A plan that could cost the typical middle-class family $2,000 a year. Romney didn't mention his plan to end Medicare as we know it, replacing guaranteed benefits with a voucher system that could cost future retirees up to $6,400 more per year. He didn't talk about his budget, which could cut funding for K through 12 and Pell Grants for college by 20%. Romney skipped over his plan to slash funding for renewable energy like wind, but keep billions in taxpayer subsidies for the oil giants. And at a time when 84,000 American men and women are fighting for their country in Afghanistan, not a single mention of how or when to bring them home safely. Thursday was Mitt Romney's big night to tell America his plans for moving forward, yet he chose not to. What is needed in our country today is not complicated or profound. When you learn about the Romney plan, is it any wonder he doesn't have much to say? <laughs>